At 11.08, developing news out of Theodore as dozens of officers are searching for a man wanted in connection to a murder. Fox 10 News reporter Andrew Perez brings you the latest. With helicopters overhead and manpower on the ground, Mobile police combed through the woods in Theodore looking for Denny Bramlett yet again. We've been looking for Mr. Bramlett for some time now um, and over actually a few different occasions, contact with Mr. Bramlett has been difficult because every time we've located him, he, he's run from us. Today is no different. Sergeant Chris Levy with the Mobile Police Department says authorities saw Bramless' vehicle and tried to stop him tonight near Nan Gray Davis and Theodore Dawes Roads. Instead, they say he jumped out of his car and took off running. Sergeant Levy tells Fox 10 Bramlett is wanted for questioning right now in the murder of Gary House. House was found dead last month at a fishing spot along Halls Mill Road. At the time that we responded to the homicide, um, you know, he his vehicle was left on the scene. We we never located him that day, but we but we we found his vehicle at the scene of the homicide. Days after the murder, police gave chase to another man who was spotted driving House's vehicle. That man was killed in an officer-involved shooting. There is reason to believe that that event was connected. There's reason to believe that this Mr. Bramlett somehow has some some connection to it, but we're not real sure what, whether it's information or, or whatever. Mobile police say they need your help to put these pieces together. Give them a call if you have any information. For now, reporting in Mobile, I'm Andrew Perez, Fox 10 News. Here's another important clue. Police say Bramlett had two other people in the vehicle with him. They say one is speaking with police right now, and a second, who is a female, ran off. We'll keep you updated as soon as we learn and confirm.